happening now at 5.30, hazmat crews just removing dangerous chemicals from a meth lab uncovered in St. Petersburg. We're also following breaking news out of Lithia as someone has driven through a pizza shop. More on that coming up in just a moment. Good evening. I'm Laura Harris. And I'm Brendan McLaughlin. Three people now facing charges and officers tell us they were running the operation with a child in the home. A search warrant leading to today's bust inside a mobile home on Haynes Road in St. Petersburg. Authorities and hazmat crews on scene all afternoon. ABC Action News reporter Serena Fazan is monitoring the situation and joins us live with the very latest. Serena? Hi there, Brendan. You know, it's very surprising because just half an hour ago, this whole area was just swarming with investigators and detectives, and they were here to, search or, uh, to serve a search warrant at this trailer right behind me, and inside, they say, they found a meth lab. No, not a place I want to stay. Definitely not a place I want to stay. Michelle Jewell wishes but can't afford to move out of the King of the Road mobile home park, seeing investigators in protective gear because of a suspected meth lab in a trailer just a few doors down has her downright scared. But it's also terrifying to live in a place like this because, I mean, if that had caught on fire, it would have taken out numerous trailers around it. We arrived after getting a call from a concerned neighbor who saw deputies serve a search warrant at lot 210. Another resident who does not want his face shown describes what happened. The hazmat was here and everything that they kicked the door in and found a meth lab inside. Deputies tell us inside they arrested Kip Gibson for probation of violation. Lottie Cannon and another man, Christopher Matthews, face more serious charges of not only manufacturing meth, but doing it in a home with a child under the age of 16. And while investigators can't discuss what tipped them off, they want people who live here to feel secure. Our detectives were able to obtain all of the evidence that was inside the home today. Um, residents around this area should not be concerned at this point in time. Michelle and many of her friends say it's difficult to feel safe when a crew of more than a dozen sets up a tent with high-tech gear, calls out for a medic, and even uses an industrial-sized fan to clear out tainted air inside the trailer. But the neighbor, who didn't want his face shown, says this is just the reality of the world we live in. I've seen news stories where it happens in million-dollar houses. So it don't matter where you go, it's going to happen somewhere. But several residents were concerned and came to us and said they fear that there is drug activity in this neighborhood. We took those concerns to the sheriff's office. The sheriff's office says that they will look into it, and we, of course, will stay on top of it. Reporting live from St. Petersburg, I'm Serena Fazan, ABC Action News.